In the year of 2022, South Africa lost a lot of icons and in today's video we will look into a few of the most iconic South African actors who lost their lives in the year of 2022. But before we start, please don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment down below. Number 1. Jamie Barlett Jamie Barlett, an actor who was best known as David Gennaro in the South African soap opera Rhythm City, broke the hearts of many South Africans when it was reported that he passed away. On the 23rd of May 2022, Barlett suffered cardiac arrest which led to his death on that very same day. He had established himself as a cinema, television and film actor in his career but became famous and well known around the world as a result of his role in the ETV soap opera Rhythm City. Jamie Ballet used to play David Gennaro in the soap opera Rhythm City. Moreover, despite Jamie Ballet, he is frequently referred to as David Gennaro. He had gotten into the habit of being addressed by the name of his character. Number 2. Shelby Dean Shelby Dean Creek was a South African actress and model. She was best known for her roles in the Spud films, the superhero drama series Black Lightning and the Palm of D O Winner. Triangle of Sadness. At the time of her death, Dean was engaged to fellow South African actor and model Luke Volker, whom she had been with since 2018. On the 29th of August 2022, Dean was admitted to a hospital in New York after feeling unwell. While her initial symptoms were mild, her condition deteriorated rapidly and she died several hours later. She was 32 years old at the time of death. Number 3. Sianda Sisiman. The third celeb on our list is Sianda Sisiman, who was a South African actor best known for his stint on Soul City. At the time of death, he was playing a certain character on the estate. So how did he lose his life? Well, Sianda was fatally injured in a house burglary. According to reports by Times Life, Sianda was beaten to a pulp during a burglary at his home in Merrydale. He was taken to the hospital where he stayed in a coma while waiting for a surgery, but died on the 11th of March 2022 before the surgery. According to the doctor appointed to his care, Sia had low chances of survival because he was brain dead as a result of serious head injuries he succumbed to. Number 4. Nomakula Kuli Roberts Nomakula Kuli Roberts was a South African fashion and beauty tabloid journalist, television presenter, author and actress. She was popularly known for co-hosting the SABC2 reality show What Not To Wear and as a presenter and commentator on the SABC3 daily talk show Training SA. Roberts died on the 9th of February 2022 at the age of 49 after suffering a seizure while on the set of a shoot. On number 5 with Patrick Molefeshai. Patrick was a South African legendary actor and director. He was best known for the roles in the television series and shows Soul City, Generation, Zone 14, Ashes to Ashes and Zero Tolerance. He was one of the founding members of the Free Filmmakers of South Africa. He died on the 22nd of January after committing suicide in Dobsonville. Shai was married to Master Chaba Shai and together they had two children. Number 6. Francis Swanepoel Francis Swanepoel was born in Johannesburg, South Africa. She was an African actress and director known for Stel Lopez, Gertrude Met Rugby and Elke Skelpod. She was previously married to Max Bayer. According to Mariola Media, Swanepoel died in a sleep on the 15th of October 2022 and was found on Sunday morning the following day. The causes of her death were never published till this day. Number 7. Gusilo Rai Gusilo Rai was a South African-born actress best known for playing the role of Tumisilo on Netflix drama series How to Ring Christmas. She died on the 10th of July 2022. The actress was found dead in a home in Timbisa, Houghton Province in South Africa. Her body was sent for autopsy but no clear cause of death was shared with the public except the suspicion of foul play. During a time of death, Gusilo was acting on Scandal playing the role of Michelle, a longtime friend of Leila McKenzie and wife of a wealthy businessman who was on the hunt for quote-unquote extracurricular activities. Gusilo's death resulted in her being unable to complete shooting the storyline of Michelle. However, her close friend and fellow actor Tuli Tabete stepped in to take over Michelle's remaining scenes. That'll be all for today and if you haven't, please subscribe and leave a comment down below.